morning YouTube. It's dark outside because it's 5.20 in the morning and I'm probably still a little jet lagged from my Italy trip, but I woke up at 4.15 this morning and I had this idea and I was like, I don't think I've ever taught that on YouTube before. And as someone who started YouTube or started my YouTube channel almost 20 years ago, if I have an idea that I've never taught here before, I just start shitting. I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go to the studio. I shower real quick. So by the way, if my face looks a little trashed, it's 5 20 in the morning. I'm doing the best I can. Let's go into the studio, light some candles. Go a lot of breath. I'm gonna be honest. Let's light some candles, have some fun, and I'll show you these five stroke roll variations that I'm pretty sure I've never taught on your quote. So I love five stroke rolls. Like I play, if I sit down with a student and we're, we've got a pad between us, I'm like, hey man, how you doing? Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Like a little five stroke roll everywhere. I used to practice five stroke rolls when I couldn't make noise between my fingertips and my palms. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Or if I couldn't make that much noise, then I would do it between my fingertips. Da, 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 da. I love five stroke rolls. So let's talk about what a five stroke roll is. Very simply put, take the pad over to the old snare drum here. So we can have double strokes. One, two, three, four, five. Five strokes evenly spaced. One, two, three, four, five. It is an alternating rudiment. Then we switch to left hand lead. Left, left, right, right, left. Right, two, three, four, five. And left, two, three, four, five. Now obviously it doesn't sound like a roll at that speed, but that's what it is. As we speed it up, you'll hear at some point it becomes a little bit of a roll. So right around here, I'm thinking like, okay, that's a five stroke roll. We could also buzz those strokes. So each buzz takes up two strokes. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, which would give us. And we could also do it as single strokes. So that's your five stroke roll. But to me, a five stroke roll isn't just a sticking pattern, it's a phrase. Dega dega da, dega dega da, dega dega da. And I use lots of little five stroke rolls that aren't right, right, left, left, right. So let's get into them. First one that I absolutely love is a little inverted double stroke five. So we've got right, left, left, right, right. That's one, two, three, four, five. And you might be thinking like, dog, it's a little simple. It is, but that it doesn't need to be complex. It doesn't need to be like, oh, it's the craziest polyrhythmic metric modulated beat displaced thing ever. It can just be do ba ba do do. Let's listen to it in a groove so you know what I'm talking about. Simple to understand, but sassy is all funk. Ah, oh, why are you on two? And I'm playing that on the end of four. So it's one, two, three, four. Sigga digga da, two, but don't do da, jigga digga da, doom, but don't do four. Sigga digga da, doom, but don't do ba. Now the second five that I use all the time is more of a cross stick vibe. It's left foot, right, right, left kick. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What? One, two, three, four, five. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five in a groove. How spicy is that? It's just like this little and somebody goes, what was that thing? Oh, it's just a little how. Now, just to be clear, I'm doing it at the end of every bar because this is a YouTube lesson. This is a demonstration of the thing itself. 
in a practical situation, in a song, no, I would not do it every bar. This would be maybe on the four bar turnaround. I don't really wanna do a fill because we're in the middle of a verse, but the phrase is resetting. Maybe a little harr is what it needs. Now on to the third one, which I've definitely taught on YouTube before, but it's my favorite. I use it all the time. It's one of my get out of jail free cards. And it's so simple. It might've been actually, it's kind of related to one of my very first YouTube lessons ever that sounded like this. Like I said, I've been doing YouTube for a while. So it's basically a shortened version of all of that stuff. It's just right, right, kick, kick, left. That's the five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you could use it in a groove just like we did with the other two, but I tend to use it more in an improvisational setting. Like when I'm soloing, I use that a lot to get into a snare hit or maybe just to repeat it as a phrase. So those are three of my personal favorite fives, but guys, this isn't about you learning those. You're more than welcome to, please, have at it. This is more about you rethinking like, oh, so a five stroke roll could just be kind of anything. It could be a phrase more than it is a sticking. Well, then wouldn't that apply to a seven? So make up some new seven stroke rolls, make up some new nine stroke, ah, oh, that hurt a little bit on my knuckles. It is pretty early in the morning. So like I said, make up your own nines. And it's really just about coming up with the things that you enjoy hearing when you're playing the instrument. That way you have your five, you have your seven, you have your nine variations of all of them. But when you play them, you can kind of go like, I just dig that. It's fun to do, and I like the sound of it. Oh, it's good stuff. YouTubers, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of this. If you want more lessons like this, check out mikeslessons.com. Get to try it out for free for a week to see if my style of teaching is right for you. But until next time, go practice.